Hello, this is your instructor, Victor Campos, for Social Media for Your Business Online. Our first task is to talk about Twitter. So, going over the points in the syllabus, which you should read, we're going to cover several things. First, construct a social media profile for effective communication. That simply means we need to set up our profile in Twitter, in Facebook, in all the social networks. So let me look at Twitter. I've logged into account. I just created it. I don't have anything really to show for it. So I would need to go to edit the profile because who's going to want to follow a business listing that is incomplete? That'll go for all the social networks, of course. So I'm going to edit. I want to add a header photo, a profile photo. These are graphics that are going to show off your business as best as possible. Here's a wide graphic that can be used to showcase some of your products or your team members of your business or anything that makes sense to show off. And then the smaller profile here is most likely your logo or if you're, let's say, a realtor, a photo of yourself works best there. You'll want to fill in the name of the business a biography, location, and website. So you have 160 characters to fill in something here. The reason for filling all of this out completely is as you try to amass followers, you are going to be held back if you don't have a complete profile. Why would I follow a half-completed profile where I can't tell what am I following? So one of your first tasks is to fill this in and with a focus on who are you so that people can follow your business. So let's say I fill that in. Another learning outcome from the syllabus is practice posting to social media accounts on a regular basis. So you're going to need to get used to using all of the social networks in this video to start off with Twitter to reach an audience. So Twitter has a way to tweet that is to post messages, but it's not limited to just text. As I write text on a tweet, you see it counts down and eventually I'll run out of space and I can't tweet. Well, here's how you want to use Twitter. You have text that you can write. Always think in terms about how to reach an audience. So if my business is a realty business, I could tweet. Is anyone looking for an affordable, experienced realtor? Well, this is a good starting point, but it really falls short. There's not much of an enticement there. I'm trying to say I'm experienced, I'm affordable, but I need to be specific such as, I focus on the San Diego area. In short, the hashtag is to help me get found. I'm trying to get found by people that are in the San Diego area. Let's assume that I was found, this tweet was found, but there's no call to action. I could be putting a phone number, but if I don't want my phone number out there naked to the world, a better item to add is my website. I need to fit all of that within a tweet. I'm already down to 13 characters left, so I'll tweet that. In addition to text tweeting, I can also attach a photo. So let's say I have a photo that I'd like to share so I can attach it. I can attach up to four photos. What photos to choose depend on what I'm trying to convey. Here I'm just selecting a few random photos. I've got three. I can attach a few more. Notice they're not decreasing my character count. So I can attach a few photos and write some text. So the point of this kind of tweet is to show results. Hire me as a realtor. These are properties I've sold. Another type of tweet is I can attach a GIF, an animated GIF, where I have various reactions and pictures and such. Let's see what happens if I search houses. So get results of houses. I could use this animation by tweeting, looking for a fixer upper in Chula Vista contact me and I'll put a link back to my website the next kind of tweet that I can make is a poll this will allow me to ask a question 
and add up to four responses. What do you look for in a starter home? Location, price, resale, quality, curb appeal. I can set this for one or more days and tweet. So these tweets are the building blocks to creating a profile where you have followers. At the moment, I don't have any followers. I try to get followers in all of my social networks because that's my captive audience, no matter what your business is. And I'll be returning to this several times throughout the course. You need to build followers. After this quick introduction, let's jump into what I think are some of the most powerful ways to build followers. It's not quite obvious the first time, but after you learn this, you'll see how valuable it is and how you can apply it in all the social networks. Basically, each network has a way for you to search. You see here at the top of the Twitter bar, we have search. So I can search keywords here. I'm going to search for real estate. So I get the top tweets on a topic. I can view the latest tweets. What are people up to at this moment? People that are related to real estate. Photos and such. Broadcasts is a new feature from Twitter, which is basically live shows. You create these in the Twitter app. You download the Twitter app and then you're able to go live. So this is possibly a way to reach an audience that others haven't tapped into yet because not everyone is live. Now how does search help you find an audience? Here are a few ways. I'm going to look at latest view. I'll browse around. I'll browse around and see that people are tweeting about this topic. As you can see, a lot of the results here are my competition. They're also tweeting about real estate, as am I. So I'm not quite seeing many or any real people's tweets. The point of this is that if I would be searching for a topic where I would find real people, then I can connect with them. I can tweet to them directly. I can make them aware that I exist. Because right now, I have a Twitter profile, but no one knows I exist. So it's difficult to build followers if no one knows I exist. As I tweet to people on Twitter, they then become aware of me, that I exist. So let me change my search criteria. Real estate in Chula Vista. So here I see tweets that are a little bit more targeted for what I'm looking for. So depending on the competition, this may be a smarter search than before. Being more specific, I could search related terms. Chula Vista housing. So if I were to find people, I could interact by clicking the reply button. And I'm going to send a tweet out to the world, but directed, in this case, to Byron Kelly. For this to be most effective, you want to create conversation that continues, that is not a dead end. So that often could be by posing a question. The point of this is to make the other person aware that you exist. As I said, you're new to Twitter, no one knows you exist. By becoming active, by tweeting toward people, tweeting at people, they will become aware that you exist and may reply or follow through in other ways, such as become your follower. So I'll click reply. On Byron's end, on his notification screen, he was notified that my business interacted with him. He can then choose to reply to me, ignore me, or follow me, or any other of the actions. Let's try that with another person, so Robert. Now, in Robert's case, he was already in a conversation with others. Star News, Robert, Good Bush SD, and two others. So if I reply at the moment, I'm actually in a conversation with many others. That's useful because then I have more of a chance of people replying to me or interacting with me. If I want to fine tune that, I can click and deactivate other that are in the conversation. I'll keep everyone in on the conversation. So this tweet will be sent to several people 
which improves my odds of interaction. So this is direct interaction on Twitter, which could yield good results. Another tactic is to interact with those that are already interacting. Now the way that works is again with search, but this time I'm going to search and find larger or more popular entities that I can jump on and absorb some of that popularity. For example, City of Chula Vista. This is the City of Chula Vista Twitter account. They have nearly 5,000 followers. And there are several ways I can take this to my advantage. One way is if I go look at the followers of this profile, and anyone can see these accounts, you just click the followers on an account. What I could do here then is begin following accounts. They will get notified that I have followed them. I'll just follow a few. They will be notified that I have followed them. Now the point of this strategy is I'm following accounts that are interested in another account that I'm interested in. And the reason behind how I'm choosing to follow is I'm looking at their picture, their other profile picture, and their biography. That's how I'm determined to follow. So if these accounts share values or interests that my company has, that could lead to a follow. There's less of an enticement to follow an account that is very basic. So that's why you need to complete your profile, picture, background, graphic, biography, etc. Or else why would, why would someone follow you? I'm not quite interested in Claudia here because it looks like a brand new account that is not that useful. Furthermore, if I delve deeper to one of these accounts, I'll start off with Armando. I'm able to look at their tweets, at their profile, if it's not private, and then begin to interact with them. So if you're positive, if you tweet out positive things, you most likely will get positive results. So I have the ability to like a tweet, retweet or reshare, and reply. I'm going to reply Congrats. Here's to four more years. Judging by the character of the tweet, adding an emoji would make it more personable. So the point of all of this, this is the social in social media. You're going to be active and you'll get activity back. Let me try that with another account. I'll go look at Cheryl's account. So again, I see a tweet. I'll begin to interact. And that interaction could get me interactions. Giving compliments, being positive, being on message, on topic helps because then you will get in return positivity, likes, replies, follows, etc. So interacting directly with people, especially those that have followed an account on topics that your business is about could give you good results. Let me back up and go to the original account in question. This other strategy requires that I browse the tweets of a main account and notice the activity that happens on the tweets. I get stats about number of likes, retweets, and replies. So for example, there were 23 favorites here, seven retweets. I can see who made that activity by clicking on the time of the tweet, actually anywhere on the tweet, like the edge of it. But if you hit the time, it focuses on that tweet. And then below it, I can further see who interacted. So then if I click likes, Here's a list of everyone that liked that tweet. I can then follow them. I can then open a new window and further interact. So there are many strategies to social media that we'll be covering throughout the course. 
And we'll see as we learn one, we'll see that we can apply it to the other networks. Being social, being active, being positive, reaching out to new people. This is how you're going to build your followers. And the point of your followers, it's your captive audience. So the more you use social media, the more you'll get better at it. Come back for the next video and we'll keep practicing and finding out more techniques on how to use social media for your business. This has been Victor Campos.